Mark, there was some concern, I guess, about Brad. The coach was saying the last couple of days, you know, they shut him down for a couple of days because of his shoulder. How did he look today in practice? I mean, he was shut down a little bit of day in practice, but when he was throwing the ball, I think he was uh, very accurate at times. So uh, I think he just coming on slowly but slowly on getting his shoulder back together. You uh, got any reason to think that he won't be out for Saturday? No, I think he's playing. He play. How about Malik? I mean, I, he's probably getting a few more, a few more snaps and reps. How does he look? Would you say? Uh, Malik been prepared all, all year. Uh, when his number called, I think he's gonna do a great job. Um, with Brad playing or without Brad playing, I think he'll do a great job uh, when his number called regardless. You had an awful lot of success with the running game earlier in the season, and then Saturday night came along. What was the difference? Uh, I won't say with no difference. Uh, we just got a lot of plays with RPOs, with run pass options, um, and Brad um, decided to he seen a le leverage on the defense, just throwing a, the pass first. Uh, so. It wasn't no difference, you know, just difference in the defense, just uh, protecting the run a little bit. Have you looked at have you looked at your that uh, touchdown that was called back since that day? Mm -hmm. You know, what you think afterwards when you're sitting watching it? I mean, it was like an amazing run. I didn't I couldn't believe it, but uh, it happened. Uh, so bad it, went, it, it didn't count for us. Mark, you've had a, a bunch of runs called back in your in your short career so far. Sometimes you just feel cursed with that kind of stuff. I'm used to it now. <laughs> was that the best run you never did? <laughs> yeah, that's the best one um, by far. Mark, the next two games, I mean, I know Florida State means a lot around here, but the next two games might, you know, pretty much decide this team's fate in the Coastal. Does that make it easier to get over Saturday, knowing that Carolina and Botech the next two weeks are going to be probably the games that decide if you guys get out of the ACC or not? I mean, you know, losing to Florida State, it's not easy to get over that, but like you say, we got a big opponent in North Carolina for, with the Coastal, so we just got to have short-term memory and knowing that this own, if we want to have a chance for the Coastal to own championship state of visit, we just got to um, get that past us and move on as a team and I'll just get better as an offense. You know? right, last question, guys. Hey, man, what, the first play of the game, uh, Coach said Brad got hurt on that uh, play. What, ha what happened on that sack? Um, it was it was a play uh, play action uh, to the left, mm -hmm. and they brought a weak side of uh, blitz. Uh, we wasn't expecting that. Uh, he was accounted that on defender one was was accounted for, so uh, it was a free shot on Brad. Right. Thank you, everyone. Thanks.